I've been feeling like I ain't high yet. Still I'm on this jet, back in my ledge. They tell me no my road, or get silence. Whoa, I'm a survivor. Feeling the hurt it worse since I've been cursing, cursed with burdens. Feelings immersed in verses, mercy, churches, splurge on hearses, murdered in curse of worship, service, death, a certain devil, worship and sermons, blur the chorus as these Norsemen of my core march for war. What's going on, YouTube? Listen, listen, it is time to make history on the channel. For the first time ever, we are going to react to Lincoln Park. And listen, a huge rest in peace to Chester Bennington. I still can't believe that he's gone, but it's time to pay homage. It's time to check out one of their greatest songs. It's none other than Numb. But before we get any further, I want to give a quick shout out to that song in the intro. Listen, if you guys like that, I have a new album charted on iTunes. Very, very proud of it. A lot of blood, sweat, soul, and hip-hop put into it. You want to support me? Support channel directly. I'll put the links to that below. Also, shout out to the Patreon, Patreon family. Exclusive reactions and content on there. You want to check it out? I'll put the links below. But anyways, anyway. Ways you know we're here for Lincoln Park. It's time. So up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. I mean, it's his tone, his purity, his clarity, man. I love Chester's voice. Rest in peace to an absolute vocal legend. And I love how we start. We've always talked about this on the channel, how the worlds of rock and hip-hop just blend so well together. That's what Linkin Park represents. You know, you see the DJ, the turntable at the beginning, the way it's kind of scratching, the break beat. And then all of a sudden, those electric guitars hit and it just gets heavier. I mean, even back to the days of BC Boys, like rock and hip hop. It's like a perfect marriage. All right, let's get back to these lyrics. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me. But under the pressure of walking in your shoes. Every step that I take is another mistake. Feeling the pressure, trying to walk in your shoes. Feeling so faithless. I mean, that first statement of feeling faithless. You know, feeling like I have no foundation, no support. And the way that it sets up, it makes me think of a, you know, a son to a father, daughter to a mother, or, or vice versa. You know, the relationship of a child to parent. And having that pressure to walk in a parent's shoes and having to fulfill the expectations that your parents lay out for you when you feel like no matter what you do, no matter what turn you take, you can't live up to it. Or, I mean, the way that this is cleverly written is it can be open to interpretation. You could take this and apply it to any sort of relationship dynamic. You know, maybe you're in that type of toxic relationship where no matter what you do, your partner's never happy with your actions and what you do and you feel like you can never live up to those expectations. Or, or... I mean, Lincoln Park, ladies and gentlemen, we go even deeper. We're in a cathedral right now, in the church, feeling so faithless. Could be a relationship between ourselves and God and having to live up to spirituality and feeling like we have to be perfect, and yet we always seem to fall short with sin. Wow, I've become so numb. And I think you do get to a point where you just, you've been hurt so much. You've been broken so many times. You just haven't been able to live up to expectations that the only way to protect yourself is just to stop feeling so much, to stop being so sensitive to the situation. And that way, you can't get hurt. If you get hurt enough times, you become almost numb to the pain. It's like a catch-22 spiraling down into depression and anxiety. And what a way to express that. And to have that sentiment, you know, feeling like you're caught in the undertow, caught in the riptide, in the currents. You have no control anymore. And I think that riptide is kind of expressed through the blur of the people 
behind our main character. She sits there and she's moving at a different speed and time than the rest of the world around her. And everything can feel like a blur and you can kind of feel numb to everything but your own situation. Love the way that that's visually represented. Be more like me. was that on her arm is she cutting herself were those lines from cutting herself i think so i think that was just represented right there in the visual i mean you had her mother yelling at her you have her feeling like an outcast at school like she doesn't fit in she's doing all these drawings she's getting made fun of it because she just feels like she's not normal in a sense and i think the video really represents what's going on lyrically as well you know feeling like you're wasting time feeling like you're never living up to whatever fulfillment your parents want and you have this toxic relationship here represented and as i take it through the lyricism of, of a parent who's just trying to basically have a second life and a second chance to their child you know forcing their own dreams and their own ambitions upon their children instead of letting their children find their own path find their own way find their own dreams so it kind of goes both ways even though we have the perspective of someone who's obviously suffering in this relationship you also get to see the other perspective and the other situation of the person that is causing that expectation, causing that suffering. You were just like me with someone disappointed in you. So you weren't even the start of this, the origin to it all. You're just reflecting what happened to you. And round and round, this cycle goes and we continue. That's powerful. Wow. I love how powerful that is. I mean, that just like breaks you down to your very atoms and your soul. Just everything rising. All the instrumentation, the percussion, the keys, the guitars, and Chester's voice just layering through it all. And then towards the end, you just have those hip-hop undertones as we kind of drop out and carry it out. And it just gives it that little bit of attitude, that little bit of ruggedness. And I love how we end. She's running into church. And whether that she's running to Lincoln Park and their music to help cope, to help deal with the situation. That's why they're in the church. Or she's maybe turning to church because she feels so helpless. She feels like everything is out of her control and out of her fate and out of her hands. I mean, man, what a song. The lyricism, the sentiment, it's so relatable. It's just something that anyone can really take, I feel like, and apply to a relationship, whether it's a friendship gone wrong, whether it's an actual you know, romantic relationship gone wrong, whether it's a family dynamic as well. 
inspiring. Lincoln Park, you were Knox Hill certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen, if you're here at the end, obviously enjoying the content, do me a huge, huge favor, guys. Subscribe, notifications on. It really, really does go a long way. I love you. Stay safe, stay positive. Comment down below any other Lincoln Park reactions you want to see me do. If there's other artists you want to see me check out, I love you guys. I'll catch you again.